Li Fengliang, who was known as the Empress Cixi, lived in Southern Song Dynasty. She was the empress of the Emperor Guangzong, and the biological mother of the Emperor Ningzong. The first person Li Fengliang must appreciate was a toyist called Huang Fu Tan. Huang Fu was good at medicine and predicting. He once successfully cheated the Empress Dowager, and fully trusted by the Emperor Gaozong. One day, Huang Fu visited a middle-level military leader Li Dao. Li Dao asked Huang Fu to predict the future for his three daughters. Huang Fu predicted Li Dao's second daughter, Li Fengliang, would become the empress in future. Later, Huang Fu came back to the capital, and told Gao Zong that Li Fengliang was a perfect bride candidate for prince. So Gao Zong arranged Li Fengliang to get married with his grandson Zhao Dun. Who was the future Emperor Guangzong? At very beginning, Zhao Dun didn't have chance to become the emperor. In 1162, Gao Zhong retired and passed his throne to Zhao Shen, who was the emperor Xiao Zhong. Xiao Zhong had three surviving sons. All of them were born by Xiao Zhong's first wife. According to the inheritance rules, in 1165, Xiao Zhong promoted his oldest son to the crown prince. But only two years later, the crown prince passed away. Then the new crown prince should be Xiao Zhong's second son. But Xiao Zhong preferred to promote his third son, Zhao Dun. In 1167, Li Fengliang said she had a special dream. In her dream, the sun fell down. She catched the sun and swallowed it. Sooner, Li Fengliang published the news that she was pregnant. In 1168, Li Fengliang gave birth a son, Zhao Kuo. Because of Li Fengliang's dream, people believed Zhao Kuo was chosen by the heaven. So, in 1171, Xiao Zhong promoted Zhao Dun to the crown prince. In 1189, Xiao Zhong retired. Zhao Dun became the Emperor Guangzong, and Li Fengliang became the Empress. Then Guangzong's nightmare started. One day, an imperial maid served Guangzong to wash hands. When Guangzong saw this maid's beautiful hands, he just said, "What beautiful hands!" Is a natural reaction when people see beautiful things. Later, Guangzhong received a present from Li Fengliang. When he opened the box, there were two bloody hands, which belonged to that imperial maid. Guangzhong was freaked out and passed out. After Guangzhong waked up. He became little mad. Except the empress, Guangzhong also had two noble consorts and one Jie Yu. Noble consort Huang was chosen by Xiao Zhong, and got Guangzhong's favor. So Li Fengliang hated her very much, and wanted to kill her, but. Because Guangzhong always stayed with noble consort Huang, Li Fengliang couldn't kill her. In 1191, the
the noble consort Huang was pregnant, and the Gaozong must worship the god in the temple outside the imperial palace. When Guangzhong lived, Li Fengliang killed the noble consort Huang, and sent a message to Guangzhong that the noble consort Huang suddenly passed away because of sickness. Guangzhong definitely didn't believe it. At that night, when Guangzhong worshipped the god, it was heavy storm, and he couldn't light the candles. So Guangzhong couldn't finish the worship process, which made his mental sickness worse. Several years later. Li Fengliang kicked Guangzhong's another consort out of the imperial palace, and forced them to get married with normal people. Because Guangzhong had mental illness, so he couldn't control the court by himself, which gave Li Fengliang the opportunity to influence state affairs. Li Fengliang had no idea about managing the court. The only thing she did was promoting her original family members to high-level government officers. In ancient time, the ethical codes required women to obey and respect their in-laws. The empress, as the role model of all women in the country. Must respect and obey the emperor's daughter. Well, Li Fengliang didn't, because Li Fengliang's behaviors were too improper. The retired empress Xie set a face-to-face -face meeting with Li Fengliang and wanted to teach her how to perform as a proper empress. Well, Li Fengliang didn't care. She replied, "I'm the original wife of Guangzhong. My status is highest in all imperial women. I can do anything I want." Li Fengliang's words really hurt the retired Empress Xie's feeling, because Xie originally was imperial maid, then became Xiao Zhong's concubine and the empress. When Guangzhong just became the emperor, Li Fengliang required Guangzhong to promote her son Zhao Kuo as the crown prince, and allowed Zhao Kuo to help Guangzhong to manage the court. The retired emperor refused, because he thought when an emperor just inherited the throne, a powerful crown prince was the biggest threat. For new emperor, then Li Fengliang asked the retired proper. <coughs> then Li Fengliang asked the retired emperor that Zhao Kuo was Dizi, why he couldn't become the crown prince. The retired emperor was furious because he was Gaozhong's foster son. If a foster son could become the emperor, why Di Zhangzi couldn't become crown prince? Because the retired emperor refused to promote Zhao Kuo to crown prince, Li Fengliang hated him very much, and stirred up trouble between Xiao Zhong and Guang Zhong. For example, after the noble consort Huang passed away. Guang Zhong was deeply sick. Xiao Zhong gave him some medicine. Li Fengliang told Guang Zhong that Xiao Zhong planned to use those medicine to poison him. Guang Zhong believed, and from that time, he refused to visit his father anymore. In June eleven ninety four, Xiao Zhong was hopelessly sick. Before death, he really wanted to see his son, Guangzhong. Guangzhong refused. The government officers, 
first tried to persuade Guang Zhong to visit his father, but didn't work. So all government officers had to strike. This time, Guang Zhong gave up. Later, Xiao Zhong passed away. Guang Zhong refused to hold the funeral ceremony. This time, Guang Zhong paid for what he did. Under the support of the Grand Empress Dowager, several high-level high level government officers forced Guang Zhong to retire. The throne was passed to Zhao Kuo, who was known as the Emperor Ningzong. Li Fengliang became Taishang Huanghou, the retired empress, and lost all powers. Six years later, Li Fengliang passed away. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.